Ken Munt, is that correct? Yes. And it's L O L A A N N Munt. Yes. And are you asking that your birth certificate be changed to, to make the, to reflect the, that change? Yes. And uh, are you currently being prosecuted in the state of Wisconsin or any other place uh, in the yeah. world for any criminal acts? Yeah. Do you currently hold any uh, license, professional licenses, such as are you a teacher, uh, barber, those type of things? Yeah. And are you uh, attempting to change your name in order to avoid prosecution? Yeah. Are you required to, to register as a sex offender in the state of Wisconsin and or any other state? No. And the reason that you're requesting the change? Um, it doesn't suit my identity. All right, uh, the court will find that Dodge County, state of Wisconsin is the proper jurisdiction and venue that in fact uh, he is not uh, required uh, to register as a sex offender, does not hold any professional licenses, and that uh, he is not attempting to, to avoid prosecution. As a result uh, of those findings, the court does believe uh, the service having properly been accomplished, that the name change uh, is appropriate and the court will uh, change and to Lola and Mont, and will direct that the birth certificate be changed. It is necessary for you to go down to the clerk of court's office. There's a form that needs to be filled out, and I think there's a fee of $25 or something. It used to be $25, I don't know what it is now. that's already been a year I can't <laughs> and it's just, it does not feel like a year that since that's happened um, I'm glad it did happen <laughs> I'll say that because um, my name change allowed me to be fully truth truthful to myself and If it didn't get approved, I, I don't know what I would do. Um, I'm, I'm much more happier now than I've ever been. And um, that was just a huge, huge step for me to be truthful to who I am and to legally be able to say that I'm a daughter granddaughter, great-granddaughter, and a niece is mind-blowing. It's just unreal that I um, was able to change my name. Um, I think um, with around that time, it was couple months after Caitlyn Jenner came out and I think maybe that had an influence I don't know or maybe he was just used to doing this for transgender people I really don't know but um, I'm really happy that I got my name change and just huge weight lifted off my shoulders because I had already changed my state ID and everything like that to Lola's so beforehand. 
so it was just so great to say okay it's legal I can do my uh, thing I can do, go to work as Lola I don't have to worry about my dead name popping up anywhere so if only that was the case <laughs> it's uh, it's been a year um, no one calls me by my legal name except for my doctors and my aunt um, so that's rough um, no one calls me by the correct pronouns it's it's a constant battle inside because I constantly feel like I'm living between the past and the present and it's such a weird feeling to feel like I'm being torn apart from who I am and who I used to be and I don't want to go back to what I used to be I, I was depressed and my anxiety was through the roof and I just felt like I was in this really really <sighs> sorry um, really bad place and I don't I don't want to go back there ever again. It, it just... I was in this really, really dark... Dark, dark hole and... I, I felt like I was drifting away into, into this emptiness and... and it was just awful when I... Uh, where I came out and I don't want to go back to that. I have a feeling that my parents are hoping deep down that their son will come back and he's not that that boy never even existed. I don't even recognize him because that wasn't me. I'm sorry. I just uh, hid who I was for so long and I, I couldn't anymore. <laughs> I, I just... I was so tired of living in lie every single day and now I don't have to because I'm just free to be myself and that's the greatest feeling in the world I got to be in ninth grade and I tried killing myself he was the second to last class in school And I wrote a note saying goodbye world. I can't live this lie anymore. And so I uh, I tied, I had this putty on. So I took the strings around my neck and just pulled. And I, I started to black out and then I a, a vision flashed into my head with me in the coffin and my mom crying and I, I, I stopped right there. I could not go through with it. 11th or 10th grade, somewhere around there I came out. And um, my friends were okay with it in the beginning and um, I got taken out to um, 
be homeschooled because teachers were making fun of me and stuff so for me to officially have my 19th birthday as myself that was an, an amazing thing I can't describe it <laughs> say hi star oh okay I sent out a couple letters to my dad's side and um, tell them okay my name's legally changed um, can you please respect me by calling me by my legal name and the right pronouns and just tell them all, all the changes that were happening in my life and um, some people uh, some people came back with really nice positive things others did not um, one person said that you know my dead name was welcome to um, their home but Lola was not so that really 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 got me got to me because I'm like um, okay that means you don't want me there at all because um, that person's gone you know all that's left is Lola <laughs> you know it's so I don't get it this journey hasn't been easy um, I have lost some friends because of who I am they said uh, you know basically that I wasn't a girl and all this other mumbo jumbo and I'm like um, you don't know any you don't have any idea what I go through on a daily basis. I said, if you cannot accept me for who I am, you're no longer my friend. The bathroom issue. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you about the bathroom issue. <laughs> um, people to this day ask me, well, what bathroom do you use when you're out in public? And I'm like, what bathroom do you think I use? I use the woman's bathroom. I mean, <laughs> hello? <laughs> And with, with these bills going on in like North Carolina and Texas and all, all those other states saying that transgender people cannot use the bathroom that corresponds with their gender identity. Um, it's like, hello, aren't you guys thinking about the trans men that are out there, you know? Because it's not just trans women, trans men exist too. <laughs> I don't get it. You know, I just do not understand what these lawmakers are thinking. Wisconsin is trying to pass that same bill. And I'm like, you can't do that because um, I am a woman. I've lived my life as a woman for about three years now. So it's, you know, it's crazy that people think that these bills are going to help keep predators out where, um, it's not, you know, it's just not. They'll disobey the law all they want. It doesn't matter what bills are in place. They'll just keep on disobeying them, you know. And um, I know in some states, I could be imprisoned for five years or with a $5,000 fine, which is insane just for using the bathroom. I mean, come on now. <laughs> you know what? I'm like, fine, I'll serve those five years, but I don't deserve to. <laughs> and then in Wisconsin, just within the past week or so, this school in Kenosha um, are, is making trans kids wear green bracelets to identify them so they don't use the wrong bathroom. And like, seriously, all that's going to cause is more 
excuse me, more uh, bullying and more um, suicide rates are going to go through the roof if people are going to be bullied because they're trans and um, it's like we deserve to use whatever bathroom we want to just like anyone else it's um, not that big a deal you know transgender people have been here for thousands and thousands of years basically I mean there's I don't know how many people have been trans before me. I know um, Jazz Jennings, Caitlyn Jenner, Laverne Cox, you know, and so many others. Uh, Chaz Bono is a trans man, and it's like forcing him into the woman's bathroom would be insane. These pills are. Um, nonsense. I am um, one of these days I would like to have my own child. Um, just for someone to call me mommy. It would be the greatest feeling in the world. Or, um, yeah, just for someone to call me like mom and come to me for things. You know, that I would love that so much. I do think about getting married, settling down, and having a family, and dating is hard enough without having to throw the trans stuff on top of it. People don't really want you when you're trans, and I don't know why that is. I know people think they're gay because they have feelings for you and stuff, but I don't get it. I don't get why they have to feel that way. And one of these days I will find somebody that will love me for who I am and they won't see me as a transgender woman. They'll just see me as a woman. People also ask me, how can you be a, a Christian when you're trans? I'm like, no. Well, become a Christian through Jesus and I've asked Jesus into my heart. I know that he's real and that he's watching over me every single day. I know that God's real. He's watching over me too. You know? And um, I know my grandpa is probably watching over me as well. And that that's uh, really comfortable comforting feeling to know that someone's watching over me. Every step that I take. And I know that God loves me. I am a Christian woman. No matter what anyone else says, I do love God and I know He loves me. And I'm trying to get better with praying more and reading my Bible more. Um, I've, I've been going to church more often now than, than I was in the beginning. When I, I, when I was uh, called by my dead name, I didn't want to go to church at all. But I have started to go to church more. And as you guys know, I'm a member of the First Congregational United Church of Christ. So, um, they're a more open and affirming church. They're one of the best churches that I could ask for. Because I am... Um, I was looking for a church for the longest time. After being kicked out of my Saturday church group. That I, was, I loved going to. When I go to my mom and dad's church. Um, I stopped going to that one for, for a while now. I do go back once in a while when they're doing like potlucks and things but that's about it. Well it's getting kind of late now so um, see you guys in the morning. Take care and God bless.